It's Dr. Seiko Suave, the only nigga you know with a PhD in hoology and asthmatology. Now y'all niggas probably done missed me and some of y'all niggas probably ain't missed Dr. Seiko Suave, but I'ma just keep it a being with you. I've been on vacation. Being in this game, knowing the knowledge I know and shit, bro, this shit gets real stressful on your mental, bro. So I had to take a break from Dr. Seiko Suave from Seiko Hendrix and, I, and I'm here to help y'all niggas. Now look, this is the first question I ever got asked for a Bro Talks episode. My nigga say, yo, Seeker, I was watching your bro talks and I got a question. So I said, nigga, what's good? Talk to me nice. He said, now I got a bitch that's trying to suck my dick, but I'm scared. Now, when I first read that shit, I was sitting here thinking, all right, so maybe my nigga think, you know, maybe he's scared because... He about to get his dick sucked in the bitch probably think his dick small or some shit But no, that was not the case at all This nigga said Every time I get ready to do it I be thinking she gonna bite my shit or something So that's when I asked him I was like, you sure that's the only thing you scared of, my nigga? And then, uh I was like, because that should be the last thing you worried about Comes to find out my niggas is My niggas from Detroit And he said them bitches out in Detroit is Vicious He said them bitches is aggressive, my nigga I wouldn't I wouldn't know that, but if I did get that little porn style from the story time, you know, I probably would have found out. So look, that's when that nigga was like, that's when he said she's kind of aggressive and shit. And then he was like, so do you think I should let her do it? And I said, yes, Mo, let her go to work. Let her go crazy. Now my experience with aggressive bitches, it's either two results. You gonna have the bitch that she gonna like suck the like suck the skin off your dick. Like she gonna like, she gonna be going to work. She gonna be going to town on your shit. Or that's just, it was gonna be ass. She might use her teeth a little bit on accident, on accident, my nigga, but ain't shit to be scared about. It's only two results that's gonna come from that shit. I, just don't piss her off, because you don't want her to, like, you know, bite your dick and, you know, punch her, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't piss her off. So he asked another question. That nigga was like, uh... All right, and if I put a condom on, am I, am I gonna feel the pussy when I'm fucking the bitch? Now, this is a very serious topic, because... Even with some of my, my young niggas, bro, they come to me and they be like, bro, I done hit the bitch raw. Bro, y'all niggas gotta stop fucking these bitches raw if they not on birth control. Now, I don't, I wear condoms, yes, but only wear a condom so I don't have a mini me. Cause I don't want no kid right now. If you feel like a bitch got an STD and you gotta put the condom cause you don't wanna get an STD, nigga, why is you fucking her? The only reason why you should be wearing a condom is to prevent having a kid. Now, I have had sex raw, yes, but the only time I fuck bitches raw is if I knew them for a minute or if they're on birth control. And even when they on birth control, nigga, I still pull out. You have to pull, because you don't want to be, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. You don't want to have no little kid, my nigga. Just pull out, bro. The pussy, bro, the pussy is good, yes, but bro, you have to pull out that shit, my nigga. Don't be sitting here fucking these bitches and then nothing in them, bro. Don't do that shit. Just pull out. Throw that condom on. If she not on birth control, bro, you got to wear that condom or you just got to get your dick sucked. You going to bust the same nut regardless. If you really that scared, if you really got to fuck a bitch and you got to take your condom off and she not on birth to where you really want to nut in her, bro, bro, I don't know what to tell y'all niggas, bro. Y'all niggas is sick. Don't You don't want to have no kid, do you? Now, look, I'm about to get into the topic on the actual video. If y'all niggas got questions, y'all can DM me, send me a message on PSN, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. Now, let's get into the actual video, nigga. Alright, Mo, so look, we on Bro Talks EP number fucking eight, and these are the three glitches, because y'all niggas play video games, some of y'all might be nervous, I gotta do it for title purposes. Now, these are the three glitches to get them hoes, my nigga. These shits is coming straight off the dome, and these are shits I still go by to this day. The three things is P's, Q's, and money. P going for your purpose. Now, I told y'all niggas a few videos back, a few videos back, you have to be on your purpose, you have to find something you're grinding for. You know, something that you put all your time and effort for, something that you got a uh, passion for. And this thing is, you, it may be sports. Some of y'all niggas may not want to do YouTube. Some niggas, it may be YouTube. Some niggas, it may be sports. Y'all may play basketball, football, and you're trying to get an offer. Some of y'all niggas, you know, maybe trying to start your own business. You know, you want to be a, a rapper or some shit. You in the studio all day or some shit. You work, you perfecting your craft. Your purpose is your craft, bro. It's something that, you, that can drastically change your life if you get really good at it. You ever heard someone say, if you find something you love to do because you can make money off of it, like you can make a living off of it? Bro, nigga said because you put, it's like, you put so much time and effort into it that you don't mind not getting paid for it, bro. Like, that's how it is for some of these niggas doing YouTube. That's how it is for some of these niggas playing sports, making music. You know, you may want to start your own fashion line. That is your purpose, bro. It's something that you put so much time and effort towards and you have a passion for that. It doesn't. It's just something that keeps you busy, bro. Like, you don't want to put nothing over there. 
And the reason why I say that shit is because you may be like, bro, if I put all my time and effort to it, how am I going to have time for these bitches? These bitches, they say they want all my time. And bro, these bitches don't know what the fuck they want, bro. I'm telling you right now. I can guarantee you a bitch would rather want a nigga that got some shit going for himself versus a nigga that sit on his ass and don't do shit all fucking day. That don't got nothing that he's, you know, working for. Bitches like niggas that got shit going for themselves. You get you get what I'm saying? And then the, the, the second thing is qualities. Qualities is all this shit, bro. It's everything personality-wise. This is your swagger, your confidence, your uh, your motherfucking charisma, all your characteristics. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Don't no bitch like an insecure-ass nigga. How y'all niggas want bad-ass bitches, but you insecure? That don't make no fucking sense. You think you really finna have a bad bitch? You, insecure niggas can't have bad bitches. You wanna know why? Cause say if you got a bad bitch, right? She not gonna wanna be looking like a fucking bum. She gonna be wanting to look good. You gonna want your girl looking good cause she a reflection of you. You get what I'm saying? So you go out with your girl she looking good and shit. And niggas is breaking their necks. And you over here, man, you need to take that shit off. Bruh, y'all niggas is insecure, bruh. It, who cares if niggas is looking? They can look all they want, but they, they can't hit that. You hitting that shit, bruh. So you can't be insecure. You know what I'm saying? You got to have them uh, them qualities, bro. Everything personality-wise, you got to have that swagger, the way you talk to girls, that seduction, that uh, you got to be talking from your chest, all that shit. And then the last thing is money. Simple. Now, some of y'all niggas may be underage to work, but it's always a, a way to get a quick punny. You can cut grass, you know? You can work under the table or some shit. It's always ways to make money. Just do it the legal way, bro. That's what I'm trying to push to y'all niggas. We all... I mean, I know niggas and I done some things to where it wasn't legal for me to make some money, but a nigga gotta do what he gotta do. But if you don't have to do some shit illegal, bruh, do it the clean way because it will catch up with you. It will catch up with you. Don't be out here, you know, stealing phones, breaking into cars, you know, selling drugs and shit. I mean, some people had to do what they had to do, but it was just the circumstances we was in. So I don't suggest, you know, doing it. Fast money isn't the best money, bruh. It's always good, you know, especially if you live in, like, if you live with your parents, bruh, as long as you saving your money and shit, you'll be straight, bruh. You'll be straight. Just uh, make sure you graduate high school and shit. You don't have to go to college, bro, to be honest. College is such a waste of time and money. You can get you a good-ass job, get hella experience, and then get your, like, start your own business on some shit. But uh, that's what I'm saying, bruh, because bitches, they may be like, oh, I don't like, I don't, uh... I don't care if my man don't got no money. I'm not here for the money and shit. Bitches is fucking lying, bruh. There's bitches out here that, you know, they, they want to get their nails done. They don't want to have to pay for their nails. They don't want to pay for their hair. They don't want to have to pay for something to eat. I'm not paying for no girl's hair. But I'll pay for her nails. But I, I'm only dropping money on bitches if I really fuck with them. You get what I'm saying? I'm not out here, you know, any hoe I got. I, oh, let me pay for your nails, baby. No, I'm not doing that shit. It got to be someone I genuinely fuck with. And someone that I know that, that would do the same for me. Don't be out here spending all your money on these hoes, bruh. Uh, the, but you're gonna have to spend money on bitches whether you like it or not whether it's buying condoms getting some pineapples because you about to get your dick sucked and you don't want your nut tasting like acid nigga you don't want to be buying fucking ginger tea because you want to have that natural viagra you know you may want to buy some cologne get a haircut all that shit goes into play play because you're paying for the pussy regardless whether you like it or not you're just not giving the money to her but it's things that you invest in to get the pussy like a haircut you may want a new fit but we not we not over here getting cute for niggas right we we, we looking good for the bitches right Exactly. So whether you like it or not, you paying for the pussy regardless, my nigga. But you know, maybe take a girl out to a date, mate. Take her out to eat. Take her to the skating ring. Take her to the fucking bowling. Go to the fucking rock climbing sky. I don't know, nigga. But bruh, don't know bitches like no broke ass nigga, bruh. Have some shit going for yourself. That's your purpose. You gotta have that swagger to you. That's that personalities, them qualities. And you gotta have a little bit of dough on you. I ain't saying you gotta be the richest nigga, but you know, have some shit to where you know, you know what I'm saying? You can, you know. Do something for someone else, but only do it for bitches that you know that would do the same for you. And that's it for this bro talks, my nigga. I will be streaming tomorrow around like nine or ten. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to drop a, 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 a drop. Get glitchy on them, nigga. Drop a motherfucking KMD for kiss my dick if you was if you made it to the end of this video. But if you really fucking with this shit, bro. Drop a KMFD. Kiss my fucking dick if you made it to this part of the video and if you really fucking with it. Also, y'all niggas, need, you can DM me. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, PSN, whatever y'all niggas got, bro. DM me. I got y'all niggas. If you got questions, DM me. Also, be in that stream tomorrow on the gang. Make that. Make sure that shit lit. Come with some lit-ass music or I'm playing my shit. Gang, I'm out. Kiss my fucking dick, nigga.